Okay, and then we go to readout, being all black folks. And there's a normal day photo shot. And then we've seen this, and basically you see that snow like that, and down here, this is radii, okay? More than likely from Fuka Fudge, okay? Yes, I know that when you take pictures with photographs that you will end up seeing, I don't know if it's just refreshed or what, but that is that star cluster. Now, this is at uh, 1348, 100 hours. So basically, that's uh, 148 in the afternoon, Alaska time probably there. Maybe it's UTC, I'm not sure. It doesn't really matter too much. It's daylight. And so this is a volcano up there. And basically when I go down there, you can basically see that it's been active. And we've seen it was active the last, not too long ago, video. So very interesting here. And then we'll see what we can also show you here. Now, I don't, I believe this might be shooting down and seeing in the volcano. Now, there, I had a person send me and tell me and thanks for, you know, people send me stuff like that. Anyway, I think there's been something like 24 uh, quakes on the island lately in one day I think I'm, I'm not positive but uh, all I know is it's getting pretty perky over there and either this is star triangulation from outer space or she's getting that hot okay and that's Kilauea okay so let's go in and take a look at Kilauea and see what's going on on that shot because I seen that yesterday and I was glad it was still here so I could show you that their reddishness so it's either really hot or it's sun radiation from and then let's just cruise around here and see what else we can get on some of the webcams. Where we pop in there, they're getting some moisture. Uh, and basically we'll probably get a chance to take a look at this. one of our favorite ones with the Oort cloud there. And basically this is a new shot to the 24th. So, you know, that Oort cloud, that little grayish is still up there. Okay, and then light propagation there too on that shot. That basically dark sphere out in space and interesting more dark okay triangulation different positions than yesterday uh dark propagation there on that one also that one and yeah dark propagation up there you can see that's fresh And there's been some interesting stuff being seen here too. Some people, some vi some people's videos that are putting on the internet. I just don't ever play with photos. So uh, let's see what we got at this one here first, and then we'll go down to the volcano one. But the deal on there, real quick, there's there's rotation that's going on on this one over in Japan. Okay. Now this might do some rotation. You just gotta watch it. Okay. And basically there's, I think, a refresh that it does, quite possibly. I wasn't watching the numbers here. I'm going to go reload this here before the end of the video and see what, what, what kind of change we get, okay, on look. So here's the one that's got a lot of ice on it because of the weather that's over there right now. I guess I should have popped it back there, but there we go. There's from the beginning. Let's see if we get anything new. I don't know if we'll end up with anything new, really. It'd be nice if they go out there and knock that ice out there for us. And it looks like that focus sort of got hot enough to knock it all off. So, I don't know if we'll end up more melt on that or not. Watch it again because it, play, play, it plays pretty fast. And basically you get those diamonds in the sky like I just showed you on that volcano from up at Alaska, you know. So and I don't know if that's around. It was a little bit before the 1 o'clock hour on that. So I guess nothing really exciting here today. So the reddish I was showing you is one corner of the panoramas that we'll go to, and I basically got that panorama uploaded, okay? You see it's dark in other areas, and it looks like she's getting hot. I guess basically she's getting ready to lava up. And 
And here's a refresh time and everything of the panorama, and it's there. And she's getting hot in that corner. Okay, because they put all these together. Black everywhere, except for she's getting hot over there. So, maybe a good explanation for all the earthquakes, I guess. There's your time and everything right there. Freshly updated. Oh, now I'm starting to realize, okay, we're on the 23rd. So basically, it might have be getting maybe even more nasty where the cameras are basically might be out of sync. Okay? So, on the 23rd, that had that shot of hotness showing up on Kilauea. Okay? So, currently down here. So, camera feed down. Maybe heat. Who knows? Next video is going to be from this. All Sky Camera Video, University of Hawaii. Okay, up through a telescope. It's basically up on one of the railings. Looks directly up. So we'll see what we get here. Now, back in 2010, this same triangulation of objects, basically, that stay over the areas. And that is Dutch Harbor, Alaska. Okay. So... That's a fresh webcam shot of the 24th. The Hialeka crater cam shows it. You see the triangulations in that tumbler that we end up seeing all the time. So we'll go see if we can take a look at that there. Dark propagation that's coming down to the vol volcano there, Hialeka. Haleakala. Haleakala. Never say it right, I suppose. Okay, so we'll go take a look at that. Yep, yeah, it's not moisture on the camera. It's basically all that light propagation, all those objects. You can see those dark light objects on that webcam, and they are making something, shaking boots, getting it on with that volcano. And I think it just refreshed. It just refreshed, so there's a new shot. Okay, light propagation down to volcanoes, folks. So anyway, I couldn't get this to load, folks, so I apologize on this one. Not really my fault. Could, it just wouldn't load. So, here's an infrared cloud monitoring observatory thing action. That's in the evening at 1700 hours. Okay, infrared. So that's what's there, folks at that time at night. Very unique sky propagation up in Alaska. February 24th. Normally what it looked like back in 2004. April of course, but there you go. And then the idea that that volcano was over there. Which... Uh, just close to the city of Sitka. I'm not sure which 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 one it is. I'm not really worried about too much. But it's uh, one of the volcanoes there. But uh, very interesting light propagation there. Tule Lake, California too. Right on top of the peak. Light propagation. Very interesting. Keep an eye out there. Top of Outback, Lapine. Check the propagation out. Bam. 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 And then right there, okay, the sun and the supergiant says 11, it's volcanoes, okay. Let's say hello to all the Canadian geese out there, where the heck are they hanging out at, sunbathing in Redmond, Oregon, they know where to hang out at. I'm not saying Helen's got some weather, but who knows what else it's got. So keep an eye on it. Because that's Mount St. Helen's there, and that might just be weather on the camera. It might just be weather, but then again, it could be light propagation too. So watch Mount St. Helen's. Baby sun coming up today. Okay. And that's midnight down there. Okay. 23, 24 hours of daylight. Yeah, but that's not the sun coming up. Okay. Rothenburg. Let's go see what James Clark's got for a picture. Nothing really. 
Okay, just at 0, 0.92 IU, so that's not that far out. Uh, pretty darn close. There was some material again here on the 24th. Uh, might have been the... And then we'll go to the 23rd, so we got on the 23rd. We got anything hanging out there on the 23rd. I went to live shot. There's really not much going on. We'll see what we got for any distance on this stuff. And again, that ain't too far out. Okay. So we definitely still have stuff around. Let's see what we got anything on the 23rd, 22nd, I mean. And so every night there's something. And basically, we're out of the season. It should be only in the fall. So let's see what we get for distance on this one. And still not that far out. That's getting a lot farther out, but that's we had some big stuff that was way the hell out, like a hundred something all you, like a, within the last month. So we'll just take one more little peek at what do we got the twenty, and we'll take we'll see if they know on the twenty first. And there was some real big looking stuff in the last month or so that was way the hell out. And that's only a half all you, so still stuff very close. Anyway, that Japanese volcano is still pretty active, and then you'll see that star moving around. And we can sit here, and, and you'll see that right above the volcano. It's still moving. So that's the excavator, folks. Oh, that volcano. Because it's rotating fast. You can see it rotate. And we got the ticker going, and you can see that thing rotate around right above... The Japanese volcano. Your eyes don't deceive you. Now, right now, we don't see any star propagation big time. But that's a dead star or somehow getting black light star. And basically, you can see it right below the two, directly down right there. Okay? Because it's rotating around good. And we'll just finish this up with just seeing how many, I mean... Ain't gonna count the rotations, but that thing is just you can't miss it. It's a rotating mass right above there. And that is being propagated down from outer space, folks. Okay. And you've seen the stars when it's there before, and if you go ahead and go to what I'll do is Basically, if you watch, I think I made about a half a dozen videos today. If you watch all those half dozen, I showed you in one of them where to go watch the video of, and wow, there, see that? There was propagation to the left of that rotator right where, this, where the smoke's at right now. So it's a good thing to watch these live because you know that you've been seeing them get covered up on paint. Somebody's been playing around covering up the lightning action when it happens. And you can see that rotating there, and then you'll end up seeing other stuff show up right above the... And I got the links there. So if you watch my videos, you go through it, you'll see a volcano. I pretty much see that I'll have these live links that you can go ahead and look at these. This is the one in Japan. And you can see whatever that object is rotating out in space. Okay? And there you just seen some activity that uh, you've just seen some activity that your eyes don't lie to you you can see it pummel up and here comes some action from the super giants in the sun because basically as that plume moves away we got some brightness coming in here so I'm going to stop and see if we end up something at the end of the video okay I don't know if we'll pop back there but you got this interesting action there too and wow, we got a big CM, CME too from the sun. So this is the latest Navy. So let's pop in and see what we got going on on this cluster here. See if we can get a good closer look at all that. So it's 400. And remember how huge this stuff is. And let's go ahead and get into the thousand. So very, very interesting, ladies and gentlemen. Big bang stuff coming back and meeting each other, or what? Who knows? So let's go down and look at the sun here real fast. You see how huge that stuff is because it's going to end up on tape here. It's going to end up dying off. And there's a big plume. And that's how huge the sun is. And that's how huge that stuff is out there in space. Big old plume.